Hey guys, my name is Bharat Nagpal and today we are going to be reviewing the new View Eureka Plus. Now companies are dropping smartphones faster than we can say iGAN is the best technology website. Oh, actually my mother. There, another phone just launched. But the problem is that do we know whether these phones make sense for us? The company U Televentures just recently launched the Eureka Plus. Now the Eureka Plus is a revision to their original Eureka, but not a lot has changed and it's essentially more or less the same device. Does it make sense to pay an extra 1000 rupees, get in line for the flash sale and get the Eureka Plus? Let's find out. Now, as far as the build quality and design is concerned, the design is more or less identical to the original Eureka. There is no big difference in terms of the design. You have the same shape, the same dimensions and more or less the same weight. One gram difference in both the devices. The Eureka Plus is also available in an alabaster white color, which was earlier not available with the Eureka. This color is pretty good to look at and also hold in the hand. And it's also going to last slightly longer, but it gets dirty easily. While color options is a good idea, we don't know how many units of these devices will go on sale uh, when they finally do go on sale uh, from the company U. The first Eureka was pretty solid and it fared brilliantly through our drop tests and scratch tests. The new Eureka Plus has a slightly more rigid body, which means that it's going to handle drops better. Also, the added Gorilla Glass 3 display protection means that your device is going to, is going to fare better through scratches or drops uh, because of the added protection of Gorilla Glass 3. Now, in terms of specifications, there are only two major differences and the device has been called the Eureka Plus, but we feel that the company could have chosen a better name like the Eureka Full HD, the Eureka All HD or even the Eureka S. But they've chosen to call it the Eureka Plus. One, you get the same 5.5 inch display, but this time around you get a 1920 by 1080p resolution, which means that the pixel per inch pixel density has been shifted to 400 ppi, which means that the resolution on the display becomes that much better. The other change is an improved Sony sensor, which means that uh, there's better low light performance. And in our comparisons, we found that the camera on the Eureka Plus was more accurate at detecting colors than the Eureka itself. Now, apart from these changes, more or less the specifications remain the same. You have the Snapdragon 615 octa-core 64-bit chipset. You also have two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, expandability, and dual SIM card slots. Uh, both of which can use LTE data. The battery also remains the same at 2500 milliamp hours and initially we thought that this is not going to be enough considering the fact that it's a 1920 by 1080p display. If we talk about performance, day-to-day -day usage has been improved considerably. We see faster transitions through the user interface and we don't see the device slowing down despite a week of intensive use. We also see that a lot of tweaks and improvements have gone through the device. There's a lot of improvement in battery life management as well as performance related issues that were being faced with the earlier edition of the Eureka. The device no longer heats up as bad as it did on the Eureka, uh, but it does heat up a little bit. It doesn't get really uncomfortable to hold the device in the hand. And in fact, you can go through gaming as well as internet usage, uh, as well as using the camera, etc., for a really long time. And the device does not bother the user. The Eureka faced a lot of battery issues and the Eureka Plus seems to sort that out. Network performance has also been improved considerably. While you're using one LTE enabled SIM card on the first SIM slot, the second SIM slot will automatically be converted to 2G and vice versa. So if you're using a LTE enabled SIM card in the second slot, the first slot will become 2G. You can insert both LTE SIM cards on, in the device and it will recognize it, but data will be active only on one slot. We found that the battery life lasted us through the day without any issues. The 1080p display doesn't seem to have much impact on the battery life. It also looks like you has managed to optimize the battery life of the device. We found benchmark scores to be higher than the original Eureka, as well as gaming performance to be slightly better than the original Eureka as well, which means that a software update for the original Eureka might fix those issues. Now, the camera is considerably better. You see better color correction and better saturation from the camera of the Eureka Plus. You also get better full HD video, which we found was more accurate in terms of detecting color. We shot only in the auto mode and you can see the major differences in the photographs over here.
The Eureka Plus also has an LED notification light, which lets you know when your phone is charging or running out of battery. It'll also let you use the notification light for missed calls and SMS alerts. The Eureka Plus also supports OTG, so you can plug in a pen drive or an external USB hard drive to access your files, your music, videos, etc. from an external storage device. All in all, U Televentures has not made major differences to the original Eureka, but the Eureka Plus adds on significant things. A full HD display with a lot of resolution in there means that you get 400 pixels per inch, which is great to use. You get a crisper display experience and better colors on the display through and through. The Gorilla Glass 3 display protection gives you that added protection and prevents your device from getting scratched easily. The improved camera sensor also improves on your picture taking capabilities and now you can get better colors and better contrast in your pictures. While these may not be major changes, the price also effectively has not been changed a lot. With a rupees 1000 difference in the Eureka and the Eureka Plus, the Eureka Plus seems to be a better bet than the original Eureka, especially considering that the 1920 by 1080p display does not affect battery life as much as we expected it to. Also the fact that a lot of software optimizations have been made on the Eureka Plus means that the original Eureka should be getting an update soon to solve all those heating and battery related issues that people are facing on the original Eureka. If you have any further questions or queries, you can visit our full review on iCan.in. You can also catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Vine and Snapchat. All the links to those are in the description below. My name has been Bharat Nagpal guys. Make sure you hit the like button if this video helped you out. Make sure to subscribe to iGan on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. The Eureka originally had lots of battery the Eureka the Eureka originally had lots of battery lily and make sure to subscribe to YouTube. Yes, subscribe to YouTube.